Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session we'll be talking about edit passes in our contour roughing of HSM. If we take a look at the part that I have on the screen, what I've done here is I've first done a pocket operation to clear out this entire area over here. And if I just show you that in the simulation, you'll see that the material is machined out around the part itself. This can also be the case in case, let's say, I've received material that's exactly like this, where my stock looks exactly like this. Now, what I'd like to do in HSM is I'd like to do the contour roughing of this, but I only wanted to work on those areas that have to be machined. Now, using the rest roughing operation in HSM will not help me in this particular case because that only recognizes previous operations of HSM. So what I'll do now is as follows. I'll start my operation of HSM and I'll start with the contour roughing. I'll choose a tool say a 20 millimeter end mill and constraint boundaries I'll have create automatically and now I get to my passes area. I'll have my thickness at 0.5 and my step down every 3 millimeters. But now I'll go into my edit passes field. And what I can do here is as follows. I'll simply click on edit using surfaces. And in the stock surface that I wanted to relate to, I'll open this field up and I'll choose updated stock. By doing this, all I have to do is simply save and calculate. And what will happen is as follows. It is only going to work on the areas that is from the updated stock. So if I had my pocket from before that milled out that area on top, I will now have my updated stock being machined only. If I were to look at my simulation now, you'll see that the tool pass is being created only in the areas that were not machined. You'll see there are no tool passes in this area at all. It's only working around this stub and inside that area as well. Another situation we may come by is sometimes we may get this part, as you see, that has been done from a casting, but we do not have a casting part that came with the part itself. So what we may want to do is just have this part thicker in all its dimensions and only work then in those areas. What we can do is as follows. Again, we can go into our edit passes field and this time instead of using updated stock, we'll use the option of main geometry to work on the main geometry but to make it thicker what we'll do is we'll give it an over thickness and let's just give it now an over thickness of three millimeters on the part itself if I were to do now save and calculate and then we look at the simulation you'll see again that the tool is only working on the surfaces including this surface this time but only on the floor of the surface those are the areas where we had an addition of three millimeters on the part itself, making it very easy to just simply uh, give an over thickness and just cut in those areas that have to be machined. Thank you for joining us on Solid Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.